think that's as typical of many Irish Gleason people who've seen me on television or read my articles in the newspaper. It seems that pressure cooking is still a bit of a mystery to lots of people. So I think we better show you exactly what happens inside an echomatic pressure cooker and an ordinary saucepan too, so that you can see the difference. First, the kind of saucepan used for boiling potatoes. The potatoes are cooked by the heat of the water inside, but as the steam can escape under the lid, the temperature is never higher than that of boiling water, that is, 212 degrees Fahrenheit. In an echomatic pressure cooker, the lid is constructed so that the steam cannot escape until the desired pressure is reached. Therefore, the temperature gets much higher and reaches 252 degrees Fahrenheit at 15 pounds pressure. As a result, potatoes are cooked at a much greater heat, and that means they're cooked much quicker. There is a saving of nearly half an hour cooking time. So that's how pressure cookers work. Now, I sometimes hear from people who've been rather put off pressure cooking by the thought of cooking under steam pressure. But the prestige people have made pressure cooking completely foolproof with their latest development of the Echomatic cooker. There are two models, the Echomatic 65 and the Echomatic Hydro, specially designed for cooking big meals and bottling in larger quantities. Both models have a patent method of locking the cover, which makes it impossible to open the cooker while there is any pressure inside. Of course, when the pressure has gone, it opens easily. Get into the habit of running water through this vent after each time of using. If the vent pipe is not kept, pressure may develop inside the cooker. If it does, this is all that happens. The safety plug pops up and automatically releases the pressure, so no harm can come to you. But it can to the cooker if you forget that the small quantity of water used boils away in a few minutes. So if you're called away, do remember to turn off the heat. In talking of flavour and goodness, one of the nicest gifts of summer is the fruit harvest. Usually a rich variety in such quantity that we want to put some by to brighten our meals in the winter months. Of course, when it comes to preserving fruit, the echomatic hydro makes the job so much easier. What is even more important, you can bottle vegetables in it too. Preserving in water or in the oven is perfectly all right, if rather slow. But neither method gives the high temperature or the pressure required for the safe sterilizing of vegetables and for destroying all the bacteria too. The echomatic dust. The three-way pressure control you've just seen provides exactly the right pressure needed for successful bottling. And as for fruit, well, it's very much quicker than the old-fashioned way of bottling. And you can deal with small quantities without having to heat the whole oven. The high dome, as its name suggests, has a specially designed high lid for bottling. This allows three improved-type two-pound kilner jars to fit in. The fruit is prepared in the usual way and the jars filled to within half an inch of the top with hot syrup or water. The rings and lids are put on and the cap screwed tightly. And don't forget, unscrewed a quarter turn. A pint of hot water is required, that is, two cups full of the special measure that is provided free with the cooker. And here's a tip worth knowing. A tablespoonful of vinegar prevents discoloration of the cooker, but it doesn't affect the flavor of the fruit. This time, the trivet is put in upside down. paper is put between the jars to stop them from touching each other. Otherwise, they are liable to crack. 
The right pressure for fruit bottling is five pounds, which means the two outer rings are left off the pressure control. When pressure is reached, the heat is turned on, or if using electricity, switched off, and the cooker pulled to one side of the hot plate. Then the fruit is processed for the time shown in the recipe book. And what a short time that is. The maximum for any kind of fruit, including tomatoes and peaches, is only seven minutes, and many are done in half that time. This time the cooker was left to cool off itself. Cooling with cold water might have cracked the jar. So after ten minutes or so, the jars are removed and the top screwed tight. Test the seals when cold, and there is another store of fruit for the winter. So that's the economic way of bottling fruit. Now, when it comes to vegetables, two things are essential. First, cleanliness. The vegetables and jars must be perfectly clean. Second, pressure. The cooker should be kept at 10 pound pressure all the time. The process is basically the same, but the details differ. After the vegetables have been thoroughly washed and prepared, they are blanched. This is done by plunging them into rapidly boiling salted water in the open cooker to destroy any germs and also to shrink them so that they will not swell when processed. After blanching, the vegetables are thoroughly rinsed under a cold tap. Then the jars are loosely kept and filled with hot brine. That's the solution of salt and water and sealed as before. When steam comes out of the vent pipe, it is left for a good five minutes to allow all air in the jars to be exhausted before the 10 pounds pressure control is added. The average time for bottling vegetables is 40 minutes. After that, the procedure is the same as for fruit bottling. The economic way of bottling fruit and vegetables is clearly described in the recipe book. So you can't go wrong. And in case you were wondering, the echomatic works just as well on any kind of heat, range or stove, with just as big a saving of time and money. There are some interesting echomatic accessories which you will find most useful. For instance, this clever colander cover. makes it possible for you to strain off water without removing the food. And with these separators, you can cook three different foods at once and keep them entirely separate. And they're so easy to lift out. Finally, there is the sterilizing rack. It holds six eight-ounce bottles and teeth. That is baby feed for 24 hours. And converts the cooker into a very efficient sterilizer. And so, you see, the echomatic is three things at once. Pressure cooker, fruit bottler, and sterilizer all in one. Whether you choose the echomatic 65 or the high dome, you get the same efficiency, the same good looks, and the same simplicity. Both models are easy to use and easy to keep clean. Well, that's the story of pressure cooking and bottling the echomatic way. Just remember, 
easy, it's quick, it's echo and it's made by the prestige people.